During the second half of the 18th century, Russia was a dominant multinational empire, the largest territorial unit in the world. Catherine the Great, the most powerful woman in all of Europe, was at the helm. She was smart in a way that political leaders need to be smart. So street smart, book smart, politically intelligent. That is, she understood the lay of Europe. She understood where the powers were. Catherine's quest for political power was matched by her insatiable desire for sexual satisfaction. As Catherine herself wrote, The trouble is that my heart is loath to be without love, even for a single hour. She was a woman of great passions and great power, and, uh, and yes, people talked about it, but she was very serially monogamous. In 1768, Catherine's army began years of war with the Ottoman Turks. The Russians were hell-bent on gaining access to the Black Sea coast. Gregory Potemkin was one of Russia's most brilliant generals, a key player in the expansion campaigns. He might not have been as handsome as the sun, uh, but Catherine thought he was good looking. Um, and he was missing one eye, but seemed to make up for that with the kind of virility of his demeanor. This one-eyed, greasy, brutish giant who she adored uh, passionately, he became probably the love of her life. Their steamy affair was chronicled in the thousands of letters they wrote to each other. If you read Catherine's love letters, which I think are the most direct way to really get at who she was, the most honest sort of thing she ever wrote, she comes across as someone incredibly playful, incredibly fun. She could be silly. She loved to come up with all sorts of pet names for Potemkin. Their connection evolved from a peerless love affair to a potent political partnership.